Hello and welcome there, friends. My name is Gerald, pastor of Innovate Church in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Welcome to our daily psalm reading. We are so glad to have you, so glad that you have chosen to click play on the platform of your choice, whatever social media site it is. We try to be on as many as possible, but we are thankful for wherever it is you have tuned in to us. As always, in doing so and us going into God's Word together, our hope and prayer for you is that you are blessed and encouraged as we read God's Word. We're in Psalm 128 today, and the title of this one is, Blessed is Everyone Who Fears the Lord. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. You shall eat the fruit of your labor, the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. So blessed is everyone who fears the Lord. You know, so often the word fear itself has a negative connotation. You know, should we fear anything? You know, fear is a natural instinct. It is protective in nature. Uh, but when we read about the fear of God, some of us may even hearken back or may even not just harken back, may today feel that fearing the Lord means fearing him putting us or throwing us into hell. Like he's a tyrant. Like that is what he wants to do. That he wants us to fear him in the negative sense. But friends, that is not the God that we follow. That is not the God of the scriptures. Yes, there are times where he did break out and have to punish his people. But it was due to their disobedience. And he made himself very clear and makes himself very clear in his word what he desires his people to do. And so it's not unlike a father or a mother and having children. If you know what is right and wrong for those children to do, and they want to choose the wrong thing, don't you need to call them back? Maybe even show them consequences or maybe even punish them to get them to do the right thing. But you don't do it because you want your kids to fear you. You do it because you want your kids to do what is right. You want them to learn. You want them to do what will bless them and help them grow into good children or eventually good adults of course and then there's a reverent fear as well you want your children to revere you as their parent you want them to respect you and your wishes as their parent and you want them to love you knowing that you know what is best for them and friends whenever it comes to our relationship with god it should be, in my opinion, first, our love of God. But in our love, we also recognize that he is holy and righteous and awe-inspiring and so much bigger than our minds could ever think of or dream of. And so I believe to be in his presence, to be face-to-face -face with the Lord one day, there will be an all kind of sense of fear, a respect, a reverent kind of fear. Not in that he's going to judge me and cast me out of his sight because I was not able to live up to his laws and his orders or his commands for us. Because my faith is in Jesus Christ, who he sent to be the one that covers our sinfulness and covers our wrongdoing because he loves us. And so I, even knowing that 
because of my faith in Christ, I can stand before God and not have to fear being cast out. I still have a reverent fear. I still can only barely imagine what it would be like to be in his presence because he is so holy, so righteous, so beyond anything that we could ever imagine. But like a good father, he wants us to love him and fear him in the right way, not in the negative sense. He wants you to love and obey because you love. And because he's a good father, there may be times where he has to allow us to face some consequences of our own making. Or dare I say, even if it were for him to have to punish us for something to bring us back into line to keep us from doing something that would harm ourselves or our neighbor, then that is the kind of God I want to serve. That is the kind of God, the Father, that I want to love and that I choose to love and choose to follow and that I choose to trust with my life daily. So friends, as always, I pray this has been a blessing and an encouragement to you. And if it has been, will you do me the favor, click that share button so that someone else can be blessed and encouraged as well. Join us again tomorrow night as we will jump into Psalm 129. Have a blessed evening, friends.